Now, one of the stories we've been talking about this morning uh, is the fact that junior doctors have now accepted the pay offer they were offered um, by Wales Streeting, uh, I think in the first or second week of this new Labour government, 22% of a pay rise, which is no bad amount of money, you'd have to say, um, which looks as though now if you're starting uh, as a doctor, as a junior doctor out for the first time, you get about £36,000 starting salary. Uh, but it's not good enough for the BMA. They say there might be more strikes in the new year. Let's talk to Pasha Mukherjee, who's a junior doctor. Pasha, very good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Are you happy with the 22%? I personally am more than happy. I think it was really grating on my personal morale for this strike to have gone on for this long. It would have been much better if we had struck this deal much sooner. We would have uh, saved a lot of, uh, I mean, as the government would say, a lot of people, a lot of distress from all the waiting lists going up and all the other effects that it's had on the NHS so far. Um, yeah. So I'm happy with it. So you wouldn't want the BMA to then do more striking in the new year, would you? Because they're saying that that's what they might do. I think what the BMA is suggesting is that, um, you know, there's going to be an incremental, um, you know, increase, hopefully, of, of uh, pay restoration. And it's much better to reach that from where we're at at the moment than, you know, what we have done in the past 15 years. It was a, a pay erosion, slow pay erosion of 15 years. It just means that the, the amount to restore it is, is a bigger amount, which is 35%. Um, and at the moment, the government is offering us a total of 22% across two years it's going to be much easier to reach pay, full pay restoration from that point onwards. But I think it depends on a lot of other factors as well, including how this actually pans out. If so far, it, a deal's been struck, but that doesn't mean it will fully go ahead. Um, there's been other conversations about other things about a junior doctor's life as a junior doctor that uh, could be reviewed, including the, the way the junior doctors have to rotate, um, the exception reporting system. So there's a few different things that are in conversation at the moment. And I think the conversation about reaching full restoration and striking again is only coming into place if um, we feel that the government kind of backtracks from what, what they're kind of committed to or made a deal of. So of course, of the last 15 years, what would you say inflation has gone up by? Well, um, I think what I can say is that we've been getting below inflation levels of um, pay rises. But you have still been getting pay rises, haven't you? Below inflation. Yeah, and but also percentage-wise, you've still been getting a pay rise, though, whether it was only 3 or 4% or 5%. It wasn't 3 or 4%, it was, it was less than 2%. Rise. And inflation's been about 9%. Last year, it was about 11%. Yeah, but so it's back down to 2% now, isn't it? And it was 2% and it was 1% for most of uh, the time that you're saying that you you weren't getting keeping pace with inflation. It went up massively in one year after the Liz Trust government, but it didn't and that's, actually that's rise. Been reflected, and that's been reflected in the junior doctor's morale, the fact that we've had such a massive turnout for every single strike. You didn't actually have a massive yeah. turnout, though, for every single strike, because an awful lot of areas where the strikes were going on, there were no strikes. You know, an awful lot of the uh, of the public health bodies didn't and it didn't didn't actually turn out on strike at all. And in fact, an awful lot of times when there were junior doctor strikes, many of the junior doctors continued to work. Yes, and, and there are many reasons for this. And, and, well, so, and it didn't, so it didn't. So it wasn't a massive. It so it wasn't a massive costly. turnout then, was it? It's still quite costly for the junior doctors to be striking. It does mean that we lose out on sick pay. It does mean that we uh, our training gets extended. A lot of people have been missing out on pay as well on the days that they're striking. Well, that's what so happens when you go on strike, isn't it? There's why people have not turned up for these strikes. But even so, we have still had a majority who have voted and striked throughout the uh, the last twenty um, the last uh, well, a year at least. We well, had a majority of people in the BMA, perhaps, but not a majority of people who are actually doctors, because an awful lot of doctors didn't believe in going on strike and didn't do it. And a lot of doctors are not happy about the way the BMA has become radicalised and seems to be all about protesting and, and not working. Yeah, I think, um, you know, that there are varying degrees of, uh, of, of people uh, with different opinions. Uh, I would definitely agree on that. But I think the unanimous feeling has definitely been amongst doctors that 
there has been pay erosion and that the job is 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 becoming more and more difficult day by day and we're not being remunerated for it it doesn't you don't have to be part well, you've of just the got a 22 percent pay rise you are being remunerated for it and there'll be lots of people listening to this with incredulity as their pensions are being uh, re reduced as their pension uh, winter fuel payments are being reduced and as their um, as their costs are going up and you're sitting there saying you've got 22 percent pay rise but you're not happy well, I'm not saying we're not happy. I'm saying that a lot of doctors have, yet again, have voted. 66% of the doctors did vote uh, to, to say yes to this pay deal. 66% so of, of doctors in the BMA? Th that's correct. Right, that's that not all doctors, is it? How many doctors, how many, what percentage of doctors are in the BMA in the NHS? I, I don't have that number to, but to with me at this point in time. You don't. Well, that, that give, a, give me a rough es give me a rough estimate. Is it half of them? Is it three quarters of them? Is it a quarter of them? Well, I can tell you, I'm not part of the BMA. That's not to say that I do not believe in the cause, because I have. Well, why wouldn't you believe in getting a 22 percent pay rise? I mean, you would. Sorry, wouldn't. I missed what you just said. I said, well, why wouldn't you believe in getting a 22 percent pay rise? I mean, that's something that you would surely want. I, I, I want that. I, I've just said that, that I, I personally am really happy that we've come to this point. This is a much better pay deal than we've been offered in the last 22 months. So this is a this is real good progress. Uh, that's not to say that there are different people that believe different things. There are different doctors that might not have striked for their various, various reasons. I personally also didn't strike majority of the strike days. That's not to say that I don't believe in the cause, that I can see that there's hemorrhaging of staff. Junior doctors are leaving in hordes. Do they you think the NHS... Hundreds. I've personally considered that myself. And we're at that point because of the fact that we're not remunerated for the work that is required of us. Do you not think that the NHS could spend its money better, though? Because 50%, I think 52% of those employed in the NHS are not even medical staff and have nothing to do with any medical training or medical purpose. Do you not think that if somehow the money that you do have was re-sent uh, and redistributed to doctors and nurses and medical aims, that that would be a better idea? I absolutely 100% agree, and I think that uh, West Streeting has, has quite a difficult role in that way to, 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 to bring the reform that he's claiming to want to bring. And a part of Labour's initial uh, claims was they want to get rid of some of the red tape. I think part of the reason we have so much managerial staff is because there's so much admin load which could definitely be reduced and uh, things could be made easier simpler there's about a thousand different forms that we have to fill in in the time that we could be seeing patients as doctors so there's definitely reform to be made there's definitely waste that needs to be redirected and hospitals definitely could be uh, run in a more efficient way i 100 percent agree with that and in terms of how the money's been spent, whether it's the NHS bosses that have been making those decisions or the government themselves, um, uh, there's definitely an argument to say that the money that could have been going to the pensioners um, could have been well spent last year as well in terms of the wasted £3 billion that the government spent on uh, these strike days, on filling st um, staffing levels on the strike days, which they could have avoided by just coming to the table with the doctors and reaching this deal, which we've now come to two years later, sooner. OK. Pasha Mukherjee, thank you very much indeed. Um, junior doctor there. Uh, a lot of mixed signals, I think, coming from the NHS, aren't there?